was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Okay, so we don't have any infections that we know of. What a way to start a vlog. But you guys, I tell you guys everything. So I thought maybe I had some sort of like infection or something and she's testing it and everything. But she said right off the bat, it doesn't look like anything obvious. But it was so like, it, it made me feel sad it made me feel some type of way because she was like okay like we'll call you if there's anything she was like I gotta go catch a baby and so that means she's like delivering a baby right now I saw her leaving because whenever I came outside she was hopping in her car and she was just like the hospital is like you can basically see it from where her office is which is awesome but I don't know just seeing her going to rush to deliver a baby and like I don't know you you build relationships with your OB your midwife and stuff and I'm not gonna have any more babies and it just like made me feel some type of way I don't know I love the whole like labor and delivery and stuff like that is so interesting to me I love it I feel like her job is just such an interesting job I think it's awesome but anyways I wrangled my two kids in the lady doctor's office little room and it was a hot mess but I'm gonna reward all of us okay I'm gonna go grab something to eat some coffee and then I'm gonna take them to the P.A.R.K. It is actually not supposed to be super hot. I don't want to jinx myself. It's 72 right now. So I figured I'll take them on a day whenever it's still warm, but not like outrageously hot and let them play. So that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get started for you. I just have a mobile order for Courtney. We got Courtney. Let's get there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You too. There you go. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. She looks so cute and gorgeous. Yes, we got white mocha today instead of caramel. Thank you. Are we at the park? Yeah, we're at the park. Yeah, are you I'm, excited? Yeah, I'm gonna slide. You're gonna slide? Yeah! Yay! I'm gonna duck. Okay, I just grabbed myself like a croissant sandwich from Wendy's. Honestly, I'm not even hungry, but I know better than to sit here and drink this coffee and not put anything on my stomach. I'll feel like trash, but He's antsy. We gotta, we gotta get out of the van. Now you guys can play your little hearts out. I can eat my breakfast and have my coffee. And you're not tearing apart my house. Look, Bryce is already up here. He's already on the slide. Whee! Whoa. Don't wanna be shy. So, I got my AC blasting. It looks like some ladies are having like a play date that they planned or something because they slowly started like more and more of them arriving and you can tell they're friends. I guess we left just in time because we've been here for a little bit and I don't know these girls. They're nice, but if you go back home, back to reality, I'm roasting right now. I'm not really wanting to go back home because it's nice just letting them play and knowing that my house is not being destroyed. That's nice, but it was just starting to get pretty warm. Miles is asleep. So I'm sitting here trying to decide if I want to try to transfer him. I'm also sitting here watching Murray. I feel like she's one of the very, very few other YouTubers that I consistently watch. But I think I'm going to try to transfer him. I was going to let them give them both popsicles and stuff like that when we got in the house. And so if he wakes up, it won't be the end of the world because then he can still do that. But if not, I guess he's going to be missing out.
Okay, so got Miles down, got Bryce's popsicle. I meant to tell you guys that I did talk to my doctor about my rib since I have been too lazy to go to the doc to like a separate doctor about it. I did bring it up to her and I was like, have I, it was her and like a nurse that was in the room and I asked them if either one of them have ever had like a pulled pulled a muscle in their rib or like any problems with their rib from coughing too much and they both said yes and my doctor was saying that it definitely can happen and I asked her I was like well did it okay so did it hurt for a long time and she said yes and so I was like so I don't have to be like overly concerned that it's like something way worse or you know I need to see another doctor for it or anything and she said to literally give it a month she was like if it's still hurting in a month maybe go and see someone but no it will hurt for a while and she recommended like icy hot or putting heat Heat on it I'm gonna put the heating pad on it here in a minute and she said she prescribed me um, I think a muscle relaxer I've never in my life taken a muscle relaxer before she said it won't make me like drowsy or knock me out or anything I have to I haven't went and picked it up because when she does a prescription like it's not it's not immediate so I didn't go by the pharmacy yet I may take that I don't really know what to expect with a muscle relaxer because I've never taken it and I'm really weird about medicine I'm really weird about medicine but yeah, so that's the update. My rib definitely very much still hurts. It, I didn't take ibuprofen for like a whole solid day. And then when I woke up this morning, even last night when I was laying down, it was hurting so, so bad. So I could tell that I hadn't been taking pain medicine. So I'm not gonna do that anymore, but I just wanted to update you guys. I know a lot of you guys were concerned and a lot of you guys are like, stop it, go to the doctor. But I was literally in the doctor today for way longer than I wanted to be waiting for them to examine me, okay? So I'm not going to a separate, I'm, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a few more weeks before I put myself through sitting for like two hours at a doctor's office, no. But I appreciate you guys being concerned about me, I really do. Thank you so much to Moody Tiger for sending over some of your clothing. We were really impressed with the quality and the boys were so excited to model them for you guys. Moody Tiger is a kids lifestyle and activewear brand. They create comfy and stylish activewear for ages four to 14 years old. You can find comfortable and versatile clothing on their website. They use eco-friendly and functional fabrics that allow children to venture outdoors and enjoy nature without restraint. So the first item I chose for both boys was the Ever Easy short sleeve shirt. I chose blue for Bryce and gray for Liam and the fit was amazing. I love that the shirts are silky smooth, moisture wicking, and breathable for playing so that they keep cool. I also picked out their Ligori pants in black for both of the boys and these pants are absolutely amazing. They fit the boys great and they are nice and stretchy at the waistband and they are just overall very nice quality. They of course have pockets and they also have little zippers at the ankles. I can definitely tell these pants are going to last a while and I plan to pair the t-shirt and pants for Liam in some of his gym class days in the fall and winter. Liam was also needing a jacket to start the school year with, so I chose two for him and two for Bryce as well. We chose two different styles. We chose the inner power full zip style with a hood and the quarter full zip style without a hood. So for the jacket without a hood, it comes in one color, so we have the same color for both boys. And this is probably my favorite item that we received. The material is nice and soft and the sleeves have little thumb holes for extra chilly days so the boys can cover their hands. This is going to be wonderful for the fall and the start of winter. They fit the boys so well and they look so handsome in them. As you can see, Bryce loved the little thumb holes. Now we chose two different colors in the inner power full zip style and both colors are super cute. The boys love that it has a hood on it and this jacket also comes with extra coverage for their hands as well. I personally love how stylish they look and how soft the material is. Again, I feel like these were very true to size. They fit them perfectly and they're such nice quality. This jacket does come in a charcoal black as well, but I decided to dress the boys a little more colorful this year and I'm very happy with my decision because these jackets are adorable. Also, can we take a moment to talk about the fact that my boys should be clothing models. Does anybody else agree? Now a little disclaimer, these clothes are on the pricey side, but I'm very impressed with the comfort and quality of these clothes, and I can tell that they're going to last. They are perfect if you have kids that are in any kind of sports, gym class, or practice. Definitely worth the price for good quality athletic wear. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to Moody Tiger's website in my description box, as well as the discount code Courtney18 for 18% off of your order. Thank you so much to Moody Tiger for sponsoring today's video.
So I did take Marie's advice and I ordered these like oven door locks, these little child safety things. And they're supposed to get here today. It says they're out for delivery and I'm literally going to install these as soon as they get here. But it looks like you just put it on there so you have to squeeze both sides. Whoa. You have to squeeze both sides in order to turn it to where you can open your oven. So I know Bryce can figure out how to do it, but hopefully he's not able to teach Miles and it will be he, our solution. Because we've been struggling with it. Let me tell you, it's not just him getting in it. It's even whenever we prevent him from getting in it, he will literally fall on the floor and cry and throw a fit. And it's like an all day thing. It's just like 24 seven, he just wants to get in the oven. So if you have that problem, I'm gonna link those. They are literally $7.99 for two. I thought they'd be way more expensive. They're not expensive. So when they get here, we're gonna install them, see how well they work. I'm so ready for the oven lock to get here. I was preheating the oven to make a pizza for lunch. I don't know when Miles put this in the oven and then shut the door. I have no idea. But it did have liquid inside. It was oozing out of it. Um, love that so much. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because you get to see like extra behind the scenes stuff. You would have seen me struggling to pull this out of the bottom of the oven with the tongs. Okay. <sighs> Yeah. Miles is just trying to burn the house down. It's fine. They're here. Thank God. So tonight for dinner, I'm making a chicken parmesan bake recipe that I found on Pinterest. And what I really love about this recipe is it calls for shredded rotisserie chicken. So I don't even have to cook the chicken, which cuts down the prep and cooking time tremendously. It's supposed to be like a lazy girl chicken parmesan recipe, which I am here for. But basically all you have to do is boil your pasta and then pretty much assemble everything else and bake it. So I'm really excited to try it. Don't wanna be shy. So dinner was really good. It did taste like I was eating chicken parmesan. The only thing I would say is I would put more than just a jar of the marinara sauce in there. I'd probably put like a jar and a half. I just felt like it needed more sauce, but Josh ate it. That's a win. He actually said he would prefer it without the chicken in it, which is for him to say that he would eat a meal that doesn't have meat in it. That's saying a lot. I never would have thought that he would say that, but Miles scarfed it down. The boys, Liam and Bryce have been so picky with everything. Liam doesn't really like pasta. He, yeah. He doesn't like very many pastas, so I was not surprised, but it's not bad. I'll link the recipe down below for you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and end out the vlog here. We are going to just relax, probably find a movie to watch or something like that until it's time to get the kids ready for bed, but I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog. <clears throat> I'm still losing my voice. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.